SI Group is a privately held company. The company is um, about 105 years old, uh, still going strong, stronger than it ever has been. We have around 110 employees on this site. Uh, our location here in Freeport is considered the marquee site for the company. We are the largest site, but we also have sites in in uh, Switzerland uh, and a few other places in Europe, uh, in Asia, South America. And we are a, a VPP site, which is the OSHA Voluntary Protection Program. That's something we went after a few years ago. So this site definitely prides itself in safety. We're going to do the right thing. We want our employees to be safe. And so safety has been something promoted uh, throughout the site, throughout the corporation as uh, uh, a first consideration in everything we do. Phenol is the one of the main building blocks to, to what we do here. It is a toxic material. It's classified as such by DOT. And of course with that uh, comes all the precautions that you would take for a toxic chemical. Uh, we have OPW products throughout our plant. It was only natural maybe to go back to those guys and say what, what do you have in the way of a dry disconnect type of fitting that we could use in this application. My name is Paris Watson. I'm a, a maintenance tech. I'm also a captain on the emergency response team. Standing at the uh, track one spot two, which is our phenol unloading rack. Uh, it's where we unload our rail cars into the main phenol tank for distribution to the rest of the plant. First they slick her out, use their proper PPE to protect themselves from the phenol in case there's any, any trapped anywhere is in the system when they open it up to hook up. Once we're hooked up to the dry locks, they're pretty much locked in place. Uh, with that little eighth of a turn of the handle, that locks it onto the adapter plate so it can't come off. With the dry lock attached to the adapter, if it were to come unhooked, it has a safety feature where the inside piston comes out and it does not allow it allow for any loss. So it's virtually a dry lock. There's no there's nothing in between them two plates. When it closes, that's it. It's, there's no there's no room for a residue to be there. We have procedures for when we open lines and when we attach vessels and so forth, which includes the personal protection equipment to protect our guys. And we also use things like the OPW dry lock to uh, add it add an extra level of protection for them so as that they go home in the same condition they came to work in. My experience with OPW through, through the years, being involved with transportation and the years that I've been out at this site, uh, going to different trade shows and stuff, that's the name that I always saw above anyone else. And along with that at our site, OPW products are more prevalent than any other product for handling and transferring of, of materials on our site. So as we began to look for a dry disconnect fitting or an application that would work in this, this whole operation of handling phenol, here again, safety being our, our foremost concern, uh, it, it only made sense to look at OPW.